I'm probably gonna do another one later, but I couldn't not record this. It's not like dramatic or anything. None of this is dramatic. It's just, I've been doing this for too long. Um, but I, serious update. Um, I moved Disco Inferno a little bit so I could get the big, um, what used to be high cat down. Um, I already had the lines drawn for that and they line up really well with, uh, the measurements I have based on the sign itself. So scale models for the win. Um, that works out well. No problems with that. Um, I'm not going to reprime it because we're just painting over this brown. So I don't have, unless it becomes an opacity issue, I'm not going to mess with it. Um, cause frankly, I don't want to spend the effort for that. Um, but as I was getting ready to pull East Cat off, um, so I can do the same thing on the other side. Uh, I mentioned in the first video how it had been like completely overstapled. Like it's a staple for probably like every inch down the sides of this thing. <sighs> they also did it to the first layer of canvas. Cause I was like, oh, okay. The, can the first canvas is tucked up underneath this one and then they just stapled it once. Sure, whatever, maybe that's why they stapled it that many times. They stapled both of them. It's, I, I understand, like, you know, wanting to get your canvas taut, but, like, that seems, not gonna lie, like overkill. Also a little bit worried that they glued the first canvas to the frame. Um... That's probably fine. Um, we can just pull it off and then very gently, very gently sand it down or something. Uh, that's what I plan to do with this one. I'm really bad at pointing. Um, that's all I have to say right now. I don't know how much more I'm actually going to get done tonight because I have some other stuff that I need to get done. That's on a quicker deadline than this is. So I'll keep you updated.